Ah, right. What's good, people? Tech Jabo. Now, apologies for the poor quality and my dry face, but we would still like to bring to you and discuss the Trifo Lucy. Perfect. Perfect. So, yeah, guys, as you can see by the title, this little vacuum cleaner, this robot vacuum cleaner thing, it is called Lucy and it's made by a company called Trifo. Big shout out to them for sending it to me to have a little look at and give it a little review. Now, this thing comes in at $4.99 on Amazon fam, yeah? £499 sterling. So it's not really a budget thing and you know, my channel is usually about looking at budget tech, but this, this is a more premium thing and we're gonna talk about why. Now, something that's a little bit weird with girl like Lucy over here is that as well as being a robot vacuum cleaner, she is also marketed as a security system, yeah? Because she's got a built-in full HD camera on the front that you can use the app, you can tap into that anytime you want to have a live feed of wherever it's facing or like, you can even drive it into the next room in your yard and just have a live security feed of what's going on um, and it's quite a wide angle view too like the quality is good but i don't know from where i'm from if somebody is breaking into your yard in the first place if they see that that's that's getting wrapped so it doesn't really matter that you can see who's wrapping it because it, it's getting wrapped it's getting taken to wherever it's going and it doesn't have any storage for footage that it's already seen now it will tell you if there's been motion but it doesn't save the footage like a normal security system would do. So it's a bit weird that they're marketing it as a vacuum cleaner and the security system at the same time. All right, so setting up the device was pretty simple. It comes with this dock, which you just plug into a wall. I think you have to make sure it's got at least one meter space on one side and one meter space on the other side. And it's obviously not near the stairs so that the thing doesn't fall down the stairs. Even though it's supposed to have cliff sensing technology where it knows that it shouldn't go down the stairs. But anyway, I haven't got no stairs in here. We're in an apartment. But yeah, once you set that up, then you just put down the robot in front of it, press the home button. It recognizes where its little home charging base station is, spins around, and then it reverses into the station so that it can start charging. Now, when you press the home button again, or yeah, it's the home button, um, it will now just randomly go around the house for its first clean and kind of map out each room as it cleans. What's also really cool is that on the app, you can see how exactly it is mapping out each room and it kind of realizes where doorways are as well. So it even divides the map of your house into each room just using an algorithm, which is really cool because with past vacuum robot things that I've used, I've had to separate the house in the app manually so that the robot knows which room is which room. You can also change the intensity or the power of the suckage. Suckage, is that a thing? I don't know. <laughs> you can change the power of the suckage um, directly through the Trifo app kind of thing. So if you don't want it to be too loud, you can set it on like a low power level. If you want it to do maximum suckage, you can just set it on the highest level kind of thing. And you can do that straight from the app and it's pretty instant. Literally, as soon as you press the button on the app, the Hoover reacts and it either gets louder and more aggressive or quieter and less aggressive. Now on the app, what you can also do is while it's walking around, walking around, wow. While it's doing its vacuum thing, its robot vacuum thing, you can also use the camera to see where it's going and where it's missed. So if you want to go into manual mode, you can make it manually go into a corner and start cleaning that corner kind of thing. Or alternatively, you can click on specific points on the map that it has already mapped out and just leave that to make the robot go to that room and clean that whole area kind of thing, which in theory is quite good. Like it sounds really good kind of thing. If there's a spill or there's like something in the kitchen that's on the floor, I can literally tap the kitchen and this will go to the kitchen and start cleaning that area. So, so far we know that it works as a security thing. So when somebody walks by or when it detects motion, it gives you a notification and you can turn on the camera to see what's going on. Be it an intruder in your house or be it your pets 
destroying your home. It allows you to speak through the vacuum cleaner very loud, mind you, so that, you know, you can tell your pets to get off the sofa kind of thing, or you can tell the intruder to please leave quietly. I, I don't know. We also know that it looks the part and feels the part in terms of the build quality and stuff. But now for the actual cleaning, which is where I was really confused. I thought I was doing something wrong. However, in my two weeks of using it and I've been, I've been really forcing it. Yeah, we've got a Henry already, but I've been literally knocking stuff over onto the floor to see how well this thing <laughs> hoovers it up and I don't know. Do you, do you know what? Let me just let me just let you guys watch this example of what it does. All right, let's get some flour. Is this flour or sugar? I'm not too sure. Anyway, flour should be easy for a Hoover to like clean up. No. Okay, let's just put this on the floor right here. There we go. Purposely forcing it. Right now, let me get the app. Try for home. Right there's the thing. And there's the Hoover over there. Go on to Lucy. Yeah, there we go, Lucy. Right, and I wanted to clean a specific area, so I'm gonna go into designated area cleaning. And this is kind of where I am over here. So I'm gonna draw, oh wait, no, no. I need to draw the area that I wanted to clean first of all. Right, so designated room, map management. What I'm gonna do is draw a room first of all. So I'm gonna go to designated area and I'm gonna draw this area that it starts at, okay? So we'll save that, there we go. Good, we've saved that area. Now I'm gonna to go to designated area cleaning. I'm gonna choose that area for it to clean. I'm gonna unselect that area for it to clean and I'm gonna ask it to clean. And there we go, now let's see what it does. Ah, uh, right, and we are off. So it completely misses the mess and goes up into the area of the kitchen, which I have specifically unselected and told it not to clean. Now it chills here and then it starts to come back down. I'm thinking that it's about to hit the mess and it misses it completely. Then it kind of sits there and it's like, rah, did, did man miss it? All right, all right, man will get it on the next go. So it now goes and gets confused by my Ethernet cable turns around and it's like okay let's hit this little mess again and misses it completely i'm just getting confused at this point at why it goes up to the mess and then turns around and goes back around again tries to hit it again on the third time and all it does is spread the mess across the floor then to make matters worse once it's now done that it's like it's like mm, yeah 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 that's all cool job done and it sits back on the charging dock so is is that is that it um <laughs> So, 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 yeah guys, um, there you go. So yeah guys, unfortunately this one, although it looks the part, is a bit of a fail and it's a shame because they went out of their way with the cool 1080p camera which you can use as a security camera and stuff. You know, I said already how it looks the part. There's like an even mopping accessory where you can apparently use it to mop, but I'm not even gonna try that because if it can't even hoover up a small pile of flour in the middle of the floor, then what, what is the chance that it will be able to mop the floor either? <laughs> so yeah, yeah, unfortunately guys, I can't really recommend it, but I still wanted to show it to you guys because I guess it's, it's kind of cool. The whole camera thing is kind of cool. I just use it to annoy my girlfriend, to be honest. But um, yeah, <laughs> apart from that, I can't, I can't really, can't really let you guys go and cop. I mean, the link is in the description section below anyway, but you've been warned, innit? Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, sorry, sorry, Trifle, sorry. <laughs> but this one missed the mark.